So this is going to be my review on the Insta360 uh, X3. So here's my opinion on it. It's a great camera. When I first got it and I literally just, it, it literally stayed in this case the whole time, the case that came with it, uh, except for once. I did use the rubber, uh, the little rubber case that also came with the package I have over there, the uh, snowboarding package or whatnot. Um, but I watched the review and they said don't use it, so I only used it once for a little bit at the house uh, when I had the camera at the house. Uh, but since then, I've been using this fabric case, and even before, you know, I took this camera to this convention where I tried to do all this filming on it. If you look up at the if you look up at the lights, you see all that. So somehow, either the coating on the lens got rubbed off inside this case or the actual lens somehow got scratched inside this case. Now this has pretty much been in a brand new camera bag over there the whole time. Uh, either that or in my pocket of a jacket, it's brand new too. This jacket right here. So, um, yeah. So I don't know exactly what happened there with that, but I wanna love the camera. I do love the camera. I think it's awesome. Uh, another thing though is maybe the audio setting. I don't know if maybe there's, I do see that there's audio settings in it. Maybe I picked the wrong audio setting, but the audio came out horrific. Lots and lots of background noise. That might just be because I didn't pick directional focus. Uh, maybe that's the problem. But uh, I had a, the audio is not that good. As you can see, the, the lens are very, very fragile. So, unless you can keep this in almost like a lab environment, either that or the lenses have a coating on them that's a dud. Uh, you know, you're, I would suggest getting the warranty on the camera because it's gonna need the re lenses replaced. Luckily, I bought it on Amazon, so it's gonna go back. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know what happened. Uh, like I said, I kept it in the original case that came in, uh, the fabric case right from Instago 360. I, it sucks because the what I've used it for, I've, I put a suction cup on it, and I put it on the window or on the mirror of the truck, and I can pan, you know, through the whole shot when I'm making turns and everything. Um, but simply, as you can see, the quality with the lens. I don't know if it's from me walking around with it in here uh, while it was in my coat pocket. I don't know if maybe it was from being in the camera bag and driving the truck down the road. I don't know what did it. So if it's that fragile, then how are you supposed to use the camera? Like how am I supposed to protect those lenses? Am I supposed to put the lens case on every time and then put it in there? And then when I, you know, don't want the, um, the shadows or whatnot, because I, I heard already from other reviews that when you put the, the lens covers on uh, to protect the lenses that you still get like glare and fogging and stuff. So I don't I don't know what to do. Um, hopefully, you know, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another one and I'm gonna try to be extremely, extremely careful with it. Uh, I might even wrap, like get, um, the cleaning cloth that comes with it, I might even wrap the cleaning cloth around it and then put it in the bag. And, uh, or get a separate cloth or something to put it in and then put it in its little carrying case, little carrying bag here. Um, I, I don't know. Um, like I said, I wanted to love the camera. I'm gonna try it again maybe um, and, and see where it goes from there. But if the next one ends up having the same problem this one did, I'm gonna have to say, you know, Insta360. I'm gonna have to say that I'm gonna have to wait for the X4 to come out or whatever camera you're gonna name it and hope hope you find something, either a better coating for the lenses uh, or a better way to store it than, um, than what's, what, you know, what, what the solution is so far. Because it's only lasted, what, two or three weeks I've had this camera and it's pretty much ruined now. So, the, as you can see, the footage is horrific.